On Monday, January 20th, 2020, Mohammad Shahab Dehghani Hussein Abadi, a 24-year-old Iranian Northeastern student, was deported despite having a legal visa. Tonight on Centennial Quad, Northeastern students came to protest Abadi's deportation. I'm Alana Gersten here with a story. We will not be silent. We will not let this go until justice is served for Shahab. So you're the organizer of this event, correct? Yes. So what compelled you to start organizing this event? Well, I saw what was going on um, online last night. I think I saw the post on Any Meme Collective and I was like following this story a lot. Um, and it just, I don't know him personally, um, but supporting immigrants and supporting all minorities is really, really important to me. And I just think it's horrible that this happened. You heard what Kate just said? Customs and Border Patrol lied to us. They assured us that Shahab would remain safely in North America. And when we left with that assurance, when our backs were turned, they whisked him away to another continent across the Atlantic Ocean. We're here today to tell this fascist organization, this organization that has kidnapped someone we care about, that this will not stand. Detainment last night, um, like late last night, I was actually like almost on my way to the airport to go protest there, and then I heard that they had been they'd been delayed until this morning so that he could have his hearing, and so I went to bed. And when I got up, people were sending me updates that um, they had actually deported him anyway, um, like uh, like basically like right when I went to bed, and so. That was kind of the timeline, and I decided that I should do something about it and try to get people involved. So what made you come out to this protest tonight? Well, Justice Shahab should not be detained. He's a student. He's done nothing wrong. It's really horrible what's happened to him, to be honest. Nazi punk! Fuck off! Nazi punk! Fuck off! Nazi punk! Fuck off! Nazi punk! Fuck off! Ho, oh, hey, hey! Ho, oh, ho! CBP has got to pull this event together so quickly? Ooh, I, you know, uh, uh, it's a little bit magic, I think. Um, I really, it's really just the community. That's, that's what it is because I just made a couple, I made a Facebook event. I've never organized anything bigger than a Halloween party before. Um, and I like put this together on Facebook and I asked people to share it. Um, and somehow just everyone showed up. It was, it was really, it's, it's magical. And so, in your opinion, what what do you think is the best solution to this this issue? Like, if you could choose how this would end, how all would this go down? I mean, I think they should, you know, let him back into the United States. I think that Northeastern or some or other organization should fund his trip completely to get back here. I think that he should be really supported when he gets here by the students and faculty and the college itself. And I think that we should abolish ICE and Border Patrol. So I'm here on behalf of the Islamic Society of Northeastern University. I'm one of the co-presidents. Shahab is one of our general body members. He comes to our weekly meetings. And when we heard that he was a student who was deported, um, a bunch of us came out tonight. Um, we currently have uh, our spiritual advisor, who is a law student, as well as um, our faculty advisor reaching out to like attorneys and as well like we care and trying to get Northeastern faculty as well as administration to support Shahab in this. Um, 
but yeah, I was here representing our community here for Shahab. So. So when did you find out about this issue? Was it during the uh, the detention stage or dur after the deportation? Um, so. Um, there's a man, um, Majid, he's our spiritual advisor. He actually reached out to me last night asking who he could call or who I could call because we had heard that he was detained at the airport. Um, so I had been reached out to him, or he had reached out to me, and from there I had communicated to our spiritual advisor as well as Alex Kern at CSDS, um, and also to my RD, Lara Jalen, and they started to take care of it from there. I was told that he would have his hearing this morning at 10 a.m. and then when I woke up this morning, checked the news, we found out that he didn't even get a hearing, he was just deported. And he's actually a friend of many people in our community, and so we've tried to be in contact with him, but we haven't heard anything. Uh, about an hour ago, Northeastern tweeted that a satisfactory explanation is needed from CBP for the deportation of Shahab, and that only in the most extreme instances should a student have their academic pursuits interrupted by government intervention. Okay, but let's look at the context of this. I had a class with Shahab last fall, and what I did not know was that when he, that class ended, Shahab returned to Iran and was then stuck there for 10 months waiting for an F1 student visa, the Northeastern recommended visa, so that he could return to class. Taking a semester off is hard enough, but a whole year is even more inconceivable. The Office of Global Services is supposed to provide support to students to get their visas so that they can attend class, but where were they? Their recommended system failed, and neither them nor, nor Northeastern did anything. When he got his visa, Shahab returned on Sunday to attend classes and was detained overnight by Customs and Border Patrol before a protest was held Monday, and he was supposed to be given a 48-hour stay of deportation, which was ignored by CBP. Again, through all of this, the school did not do or say anything. And this is just the tip of the iceberg. Last summer, Northeastern hosted a conference for Customs and Border Patrol about border protection technologies, taking their money and then letting CBP turn around and deport Northeastern community members. He said that the first question that the priest asked, the first question that the Levite asked was, if I stop to help this man, what will happen to me? But then the Good Samaritan came by and he reversed the question. If I do not stop to help this man, what will happen to him? Woo! Woo! That's the question before you tonight. And because you are here, you have considered it, and you have found the right answer. Woo! This is bullshit. Uh, it's bullshit on the federal level. It's bullshit on the uh, state level. It's bullshit on the local level. And it's bullshit, especially on the northeastern level. We'll keep you updated as the story progresses. I'm Alana Gerson here with NUTV News.